Good morning, everybody. Ah, oh, dang it. And good morning, ladies and boys. I was trying to hold the boys back in the paddock, but I just noticed one go past. In the dark, it's just pretty hard to see them. I, mean, I can't really see them. You've got more light than I do. Since we're the camera lens here. Dad's on, don't hear he pulled the salt. Girls are stopping at the salt. There's really quite a few of them actually. Uh, yep. Alright, Dad shouldn't be too far away. I have left it a bit later than normal, it's just going six now. And I hope Dad gets here to get the balls out and then I can take the balls back to their paddock, lock them away. And um I'll shoot back with all these girls. Come on! Yeah. Couple of days off for you. Come on, boys. Boys out. There's a little fella here with his legs. It's alright. Alright. Get a couple of days off. See what he's like in a couple of days' time. Big boy knows what's happening. He's not happy. <laughs> oh well. Let's get back. Let's get it back to Morgan. I'm in a hurry to get to their paddock. Wait a minute, because I just Here's number 217. Does a good job. It's only a three year old. Not a bad muzzle for a three-year-old. Good girl. Good girl, 129. Alright. Good girl. Good girl. Good girl. Oh, girls. Come on. Hup, hup. getting nice and full again. Hopefully we go back in the 5.8s today. Come on. 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 She knows when to come in. They got her on nice and early. Yeah, there's the up there. Right, there he is. Bring it up in for Mulgy. Once a day. Well, girls, no one finished here. I need a double up, please. We're make a double up. Two rows are headed out. Last two rows headed out together. Good girls. We're just waiting for Hoppy. Send Hoppy back to her paddock. It's getting better. I think she's starting to put weight on it now. And now we'll kill three birds with one stone. Take the bulls down, lock the cows away, and feed the little calves. Straight out there and into the circle going to their paddock. So we'll take them down the farm. Even the old bull knew where to go, so it sort of led the other ones a little bit. Come on. Go. On. There we go. All right, we're going to grab five bags of meal. I'll just finish washing up here. And by then, we can go follow the boys down. Can't figure out why, but the girls are coming back. Well, not all of them. There's still a lot of them in the paddock. They're good. Ah, oh, the heifers. Mostly heifers and three-year-olds at the front here. Bloody animals. Come on! Up! Up! Come on! And the boys are right here learning what these girls are doing, so... Come on! Up! Come on! Up! 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 Not good. Not good. Come on! These girls back to their paddock. The bulls are in the cows somewhere. They will have their fun. Um, we'll go feed some little carvies. And then, we're going to go have fun and do some ripping today. We're going to rip up some paddocks. I'm only complaining about the paddocks. There's a lot of grass in there for them. They'll be nice and full, but it is a bit long, unfortunately. There's a few cows pulling today. A bit of action happening. The bulls are in there, though. There's one working there. Well, both of them are in the same area. Hopefully not working on the same cow, because one of us got something to do. All right, let's carry on. And feed some little garbage. So we're going to drop the quick hitch off the big girl and go put on the rippers. So change of plan. This ripper is going on the other tractor, which is logical because Dad said we're not going to feed out anytime soon. And we'll leave the rotary hole on this girl. So we're just going to go and grab the other tractor and get the take the bale feeder off and hook up that rippers for her. She's a big ripper. She's a big ripper. I don't like the angle, but it's just how high was. We are at the moment because of where I put the top link. Just a trial and error thing. Oh, 
work it out. Oh, let's go rip some paddocks. Two paddocks to rip today. Doing a beautiful job. You see all the pan breaking up there. Good ripper. But geez, she's working hard to do it. They do say roughly for um, horsepower that each prong represents 25 horsepower. But, but you've got to remember, we are in the peak. So that represents the play. If anything, we're not lacking the power. We've got the power. It's the traction. We're not stalling or anything. We just don't have the tire size. See, it's coming up real nice. Doing a beautiful job. Yeah, it's not so much she can't pull it, it's just the traction with the ground being so wet. Beautifully well, as you'll see, I did miss a couple of spots in this paddock. There was about four lines in this paddock. It looks like to be about three lines in the other paddock, but I've gotten about 99, about 95% of the paddocks. So. It's not too bad, as you'll see, we're getting some tire slip here. It's working well. There's Dad recording. <laughs> But she's working well, every now and then when she starts to slow down too much, I'll lift the rippers, but we are going through a wet spot now. I'll lift it and put it back down straight away. I better concentrate. <laughs> yeah, traction in the peak can be a bit hard. It's working well. Dusted. So as you'll see, we've broken up this pan here, the pan here, and it looks like a bit of an old stump actually. Old stump, bit of pans all broken up. Beautiful. So we're going to go through and rotary hoe this tomorrow because we're running out of time today. So it's beautiful. Done a great job. Jeez, are we going deep? So most of the time, I can see this part of the ripper, and then the dirt flick up around, and this is how deep we're going. So definitely of great depth. I didn't think we we're going that deep. But perfect, very happy that paddock's done. I made sure I missed out where the waterline was so I didn't rip that up. This one didn't worry about it too much because we pulled the trough out. Beautiful. With that, let's carry on and I'll see you all at milking tonight. I'm closing the gate, I didn't even notice this, but uh, that might be replacing. <laughs> the little foot's probably just that little foot. They're eating the young grass and they are. Uh, Oh, all tucking it out. Look at that. Good girls. There'll be about 50 cows standing in the whole paddock, probably. As Dad heads down, we've got a bit of time here now. Got some hay from birds' nests. Um, yeah, so Dad heads down, we've got a bit of time. We're going to go change some inflations. And also, the young bulls are in that mob, so we may have to watch out for them. They won't know about the, about the coming on the yard and all that sort of thing. But we'll see how we go. Let's carry on. to leave it there we're gonna go get the boys now they'll be all right from smoking girls are still going anyway some of most use can't have any but we're gonna have to get through here down i got one ball just here and another ball just further out there and any but watch out down good girl oh i lost up my stick you never know bulls might have a bit of a get a bit upset having to leave but we take our time yeah let's go come on Come on, best thing is, take your time, don't rush him. Come on, 
Come on. Just let him push his way slowly through the cows. Come, Bull. Come, Bull. That's the way. Good boy. It's all right. It's all right. Come on. We're not whacking the heck out of him with her, or else they get agitated and turn on us or something else happens. He attacks the cows. So just slowly take him out. Not you, girl. You're not meant to be going with them, little heifers. Now comes the fun part because you get the heifers, three year olds. Still don't really know what the story is. The idea is to keep the bulls in there. Not many left. <laughs> They're moving well. They are down a little bit, but we expect that they are getting in cast. Oh, oh good. Done and just starting the irrigator up. Dad shifted it today while I was uh, ripping those paddocks up. Yeah, she's all like free urea, as they call it, free nitrogen. Put that like and subscribe, and I'll see you all. Thank you. Good morning, everybody. Morning, Dad. Hey, here he comes bringing the balls through. Stand to the side of the motorbike with the motorbike off. He talks to them. <laughs> yeah, one each side. Perfect. They learn. Yeah, they learn, they learn. And now we'll get a move on and get the cows. What's the cows in the yard? Yeah, get the eyes in the back of your head. Keep an eye on the bulls. Yeah, gates closed, keep them out. <laughs> well, they're waiting, they're waiting. Like right, little sharks circling, aren't they? Someone in here is bullying. This is an inspection process. Oh, <laughs> that one smells nice. Girls are all headed down first, so. Good girls, hang on. Your last down. 121 first. Good girl. 112 is in pole position, there's a good girl. Oh, hello. Jamie, what are you doing? Hey, Jamie. Oh, Jamie. Jamie, Jamie. Jamie, Jamie. Let's carry our hands. So the march down and the vet has begun. How oh, do we survive today? Oh, yeah, well, well. Ready? Don't worry, you'll get your milk shortly. Just waiting for this to go cold. Once it goes cold, start off cold, goes warm, then goes cold again. We can flip this over. Perfect. Carol, want some milk? Therefore, yeah. Pick him up. Pick him up. Hey, he's going to be here at nine. Nothing better than a bomb this morning. Dad's nearly finished, and I'm still going to put the acid moves in a much rinse cycle. But yeah, still going well. Just uh, getting into it in here. Same sort of bottom, sort of clean air. Clean out our dog bowl. Thanks, folks. Yeah, we're going to be right through hoeing today. And with their last bucket full, that's it for the milk powder this year. Last bag of milk powder. Last full feed for the little carvies. So those are the two buckets for the carbs tomorrow. And that'll be it, they're weaned off. The dad's just finished, going to go feed those little carvies. We're going to take the inflate these, uh, these up. Uh, hard to do one handed. Uh, and then we're going to go feed our little calves in the swamp. Of course, because they are weaned off, those older ones are going to get, those ones around behind the red shed are going to get weaned off. Um, they still get their meal till uh, 
about Christmas time of first week of December they still get meals. Just going in here to go feed some little carvies and uh, why did you just dip? You ate half a bale of hay in a day, you didn't even touch it. Now you've eaten half of it, which is feeding, that's good. And then um, you flipped over three of your five meal troughs. Smart little carvey, don't you? Smart. Aren't they looking great? We run out of meal this morning. They've only got four bags for them. And uh, looking good. Look at you. Hey, Harry. Hey. One of the carryovers ones. But yeah, looking at their tails. Do they need dagging? No. All of them actually looking really good. Drenched and happy. So that will carry on. Let's go and lock the cows away and then we'll get to rotary hoeing. One of my favourite jobs. It's a slow one, but a good one. See, we'll just leave that one trough upside down so they can't flip it over again. Sounds like he's... There's like There is only 73 of them, I think. And uh, they're getting... Even with the four bags, they're still only getting 80 kilos. So, they're all right. Didn't meet them on the way down the race today, so look at them. Happy as. This is actually another paddock I wouldn't mind giving a quick spray to for Doc because uh, I actually see it quite bad. Just mainly at the front here. Okay. Got the mouldy gear all, 80W90 with a little funnel. Just checking our level. How's the level? It's not there. It's not there. <laughs> ah, so we need to. Yep. Very good, very good. Okay, Jim. Make sure that chain, maybe there's yeah, an oil. Big chain in there. Sitting in an oil bath. Yep. Yeah, puts his hand over it just because it could be just going down the side and straight in. Just want it to fill that area. Greased, cool. oiled, tractor's full of gas, ready to go. Dad did some oil in there. Put that there, Carl. To help that. Yep. Sweet. And beautiful. She's ready to go. We'll level her out, get her to the level we want, and then. Um, Go retro right house and bat it. The level she's at now, what will happen is it won't go in the ground deep enough because that bar, bar needs to be lifted. Well, now she'll go into the ground and beautiful. Start her up. Quiet as a mouse. Bring her up to the 540. Beautiful. She's old. She's old. Good. The um, AI tech. This was his old girl. He got her back in the probably in the 80s. So she's going 50 years old. This. And we're off. We got the bucket on the front so we can pick up sticks. Aramie passenger. And Rachel, go on board, ready to go.
we're about an hour in now, not even over halfway, but it's a good sized paddock. I mean, um, usually a paddock of this size probably take me about two hours, but we're making good time. We're doing our last run down the side here, we're nearly done. It's going good. Just uh, as you'll see there, it's sinking quite a bit. It means we've got a uh, really good seed bed. Yeah. Um, yeah, so hopefully the contractor's coming through this weekend to come and plant it. Thank you, Dad. He just got me some brekkie, chicken and chips. Now we're just going along. We're just going to finish this paddock. About the two-hour mark just now. So just doing the last two runs down the paddock, and then we're into the next one. That big bit there, that's a big bit of pan. We'll watch that bugger go through, shall we? Hopefully those videos come up well because I just flying the drone around trying to try to fly it while driving and I didn't miss anything while driving but the flying got a bit hectic at times, nearly, nearly hit the track twice, nearly hit the fence a couple of times. Jeez, it's a shocker. But getting there, it's all in time, all in time. I'll get better the more I use it. So it's pretty cool. It's pretty cool watching it from the outside. Maze plan to come around. So, if you can see here, well, you notice this track goes just down here and right around the outside. So, that gives what it's there for is to allow us to have enough room for the tractor to fit there and the maze chopper hanging out the side into the maze so that we can sort of go around there and open our own maze up. Done the same in this paddock as you would have seen. But yeah, it's good now. All well done. Ready for the maze plan to come. He's coming sometime this weekend. We do prefer to have our maize planted when there's some nice moisture in there, but as you saw, we were um, rotary hoeing there and it was no hassle at all. We had a lot of moisture there, so there's no dust. Even with this wind coming through now, there's still no dust whipping up the soil. Like that, I'll see you all at Mulking tonight. And a good day. Mulking time. Have a good one. Right down the back today. Afternoon, everybody. Afternoon, Dad. Afternoon. 
We're going to catch number four. We're not sending her right down the back tonight. She can relax go in there with 251. So, look at this. So stuff. They have to eat the, eat the meal to get the energy. Yeah, they're as nearly as wide as that. <laughs> Come on, girls. Come on. We've got to wait for one girl here. Who oh, is it? Number four. She won't want to go that way, but we're going to turn her. Come on, 73. There's a good dog. It's actually a very good cow, that one. She was t nearly top of the herd test. Not quite. Third equal, I think she was. Come on, four. Good girl. Bang hip. Yep, bang hip. This is, yeah, this is her last season here. Good girl. It's good to put her in the paddock. She doesn't know where to go yet because she's never been in the paddock. Could have been from mating or carving. Could have got her like that, but it's all right. Beautiful cow, number four, too. Again, one of our another top hooks. Yeah. Come on, four. No, 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 no. Come on, up. Dang gate, dang wind. Good girl. We'll get her in for milk in the morning. Oh yeah, cows are right down the back tonight. Good girls. Friendly one, eh? Hey? Dad, enjoy your weekend off. No, you're going to come back tomorrow after milking. Got to go shift some calves up to your place. <laughs> I'll do another cut, two cups. The cows are just, just going around the corner down there, so heaps of time. Put all four off on both cups. There go, we'll grab some new ones. Put them on. I do know that last bit looks yuck, but it's a lot easier using your spit than water because for some reason the water doesn't doesn't help the rubber to go on. So let's go lock some cows away and then it'll be us for today. Last the girls 